Richmond police are still looking for at least two more people responsible for killing a three month old baby and her mother and injuring three others. This tragedy and a rash of recent shootings is sparking demands for change across the city. On your side at six, Desiree Montilla talks to a community activist about his effort to stop the gun violence. Desiree, what are his plans? Mickey, a crew Sherman is organizing what he calls a hundred men walk, changing the narrative from men missing in action to men in action in an effort to stop the gun violence here in Richmond. The sirens at the scene of Tuesday's shooting at the Belt Atlantic Apartments are sounding a call to action for Crew Sherman. I uh, am upset at the continual uptick in the violent uh, crime that's occurring uh, in the city of Richmond and surrounding areas. This Saturday, Sherman is organizing what he calls a hundred men walk calling for a stop to gun violence in Richmond after Charnez Hill and her three month old were shot and killed. To find out that a, a mother and her child and other children uh, were involved in this, it was heartbreaking. Most people think that uh, the men are MIA missing in action, but therefore we want to change that narrative and say uh, that we're MIA, that we're men in action. Sherman also says they're inviting city leaders to join their effort to figure out how to put an end to the violence. We are fed up with the, the crime and that we want to partner with all the stakeholders and say, what can we do to decrease the crime in this area? Sherman says the group will walk through the Belt Atlantic apartment complex where this tragic shooting happened to show that now is the time to take action. We owe it to that baby to let her death not be in vain. We owe it to the mom for her death not to be in vain. We hope that we can uh, at some point stop having the rallies, stop having the visuals, stop releasing balloons, stop having t-shirts printed with rest and peace on it, and get back to a community that care about one another. Sherman says that walk will start at 11 o'clock Saturday morning. The group will first meet on the football field at George with High School before walking through the Belt Atlantic Apartments. Live and on your side tonight here in Richmond, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News.